Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Midweek Mindset. So, I don't know, have you ever been playing in a ball game or, or watching a ball game of some kind and, and, and you see a guy make this incredible, you know, fall away shot at the buzzer or, or it makes a great catch on fourth down and, and uh, you know, whatever. It, it, great shot, unbelievable, holy cow, how could that happen, right? Or maybe, maybe it's the great pickleball shot that somebody makes. Like, how did you get there? Right, it, wherever your arena is, that we see these things happen. You know, it was a couple of weeks ago I saw a guy that uh, led his football team uh, down the field with 13 seconds left. They moved the ball 45 yards, got into field goal position, kicked the field goal to tie the game, send it to overtime, and then win the game. Unbelievable! 13 seconds. How do you do that, right? But it happens. We've seen those things happen. So. Let me let me ask you what what is like unbelievable? No way! That's impossible, and then it happens. <laughs> how about how about some of the miracles that, that uh, we see in the Bible, right? We we see stuff with you know I, I saw a special um, a deal on TV a, a couple of years ago. And it was talking about all the the twelve plagues that happened to. Um, during the time that the, the Hebrew, Hebrews were enslaved in, in Egypt. And, and they were showing scientific evidence of all of these events that happened. And uh, it was an amazing, an amazing thing. You, you say all of these, all of these stories we read in the Bible and these incredible miracles. Like, oh, no way! That didn't really happen, did it? Unbelievable. Well, it is believable. And it really did happen. And it's really recorded in history. If you've been following us along in, uh, in our Sunday sermons, you know that, that we're in John chapter 11 and we're looking at, at Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. No way! Guy's been dead four days. How could that be? Yeah, because God. <laughs> because God. You know, there may be some incredible athletic things done um, that, that we see happen in, um, in our world. But those are things that, that are attainable by human effort. But we look into Scripture and we see things that are like, really, no way, impossible. How could that happen? Because God. And, and so when we're looking at those miracles, my question is, what, what do you believe? What is possible? What do you believe is possible with God? <laughs> and Mary told us that... Uh, um, with God, all things are possible, right? Back in when uh, she found out that, that she was pregnant and, and uh, she was going to, to uh, um, give, give birth to God's son, and somebody said, how can that be? And she says, with all things, or with God, all things are possible. It can happen. We have been going through Hebrews chapter 11 and looking at some of the heroes of the faith. And last week we looked at some things about Abraham that God called him to do. And this week we'd like to talk just a little bit more about Abraham um, down in verse 11. It says, By faith Abraham, even though he was past age, and Sarah herself was barren, his wife Sarah, right, was enabled to become a father because he considered him faithful who had made the promise. And so from this one man, and he as good as dead, came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sands on the sea. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Impossible! How old was Abraham? A hundred. A hundred years old. And even more amazing, his wife Sarah was 90 years old. I have a, um, a young couple I know that uh, they're, they are about to have their fifth child. And um, the mom has, has uh, been driven crazy by her doctor that keeps talking about her age. He keeps referring to her age with this pregnancy because she's, well, they're in their mid-30s. She's 35, so now she's getting to be an advanced age for pregnancy. <laughs> oh, but, uh, you know, this gal, Sarah, this woman, Sarah, is 90 years old. Her husband is 100. How long would you believe God's promise in your life? 
I promise you, you're going to have descendants more than you can count. Okay, God. And you keep watching the calendar, and the years go by, and the decades go by. And it's clicking along, and you're like, um, God, hello. <laughs> Remember that promise way back all those years ago that you made? God's like, yep. <laughs> but Abraham continued to live by faith and believe God. Believe God for his promises. Because he knows that God is always faithful when he promises us things. And, and so when he's 100 years old and his wife is 90 years old, God says, okay, it's about right. Here's the time. Because now there will be no doubt that this is a miraculous thing from God. There, there is no doubt that, that Abraham and Sarah are living by faith, believing God, and that at this point in their life, when, when people see Sarah is pregnant, they're going to say, absolutely, there is no way, except this is, this is a miracle from God, that this would happen, right? And so, so be careful when we say, oh, no way, unbelievable. Well, <laughs> with God, all things are possible. And so as we look at these heroes of faith in Hebrews chapter 11, my question is, how's your faith? When, when you say, oh, I, God, God promises this. I've been praying for this. Something's, whatever the case is, and it's been days or weeks or a year or whatever. Like, oh, well, this isn't going to work. You know, like God's not listened to me. He's forgotten it, whatever. Really? What if God was testing your faith for decades? What if it's decades before you see the answer to your prayer? Are you still praying? Have you given up? I've been praying for, for my, my nephew or grandson or whoever it is to come to Christ. I've been praying for God to do something in their life and I've been, and, and they haven't gotten saved yet. They haven't got saved yet. I keep praying and, and nothing's happened. And, and oh, well, <laughs> how long? How long have you been doing that? Decades? You know, we do months, years, decades. How's your faith? Believing God for his promises and want, and, and hearing our prayers and, and honoring his word. So next time you think about unbelievable, well, with God, all things are possible. And so by faith, believe those things. Have a great day.